Kal Sorkar Meghalaya Democratic Alliance kelabu kathong baha kishipos number 1. Ka jela Meghalaya kadan ha kathop kerteng jong kishipot li jela ke bapau tam hakari India baro kawei. Ban penurlong ya kania kawei ni ki project ka bala pendap ya ka benta ke banengkong ka dei ke jingple pat ba ya ka Shillong Technology Park. Ha ka arterik mentau brai rempang ar hajar ar puar menteri rang ba ke jela Konrad Kongkal Sangma ula ple pat ba ke Shillong Technology Park ka bala tei ha ke Shillong Um Sauli ha New Shillong ka balong ru kum si menta ke jingra ke ke jingdap San Posnem ke jingyo ke jela Bapura jong ke Meghalaya. Ha ke ne ke jingelang ple ke ne ke Shillong Technology Park la saki lang ru do menteri sarkar ba kemi ikatanat Information Technology u ba Hamlet Sondoling U Menteri Sorkar berkemi ikatanat PHE ubah Renekton Lengdok Tongkar bat kiwai-kiwai kibleya dan lang. Ka jing temu jangka Sorkar lor ke jingwan rakyat kena ngeprojek ke longban ailat ikiru syampang haka liang ke information technology kibana kena kejela kibana mentah hasa telak kepertai bakin wan pai no asyala kejong kejela ban trai bat ban senyang ya kejela haka nika bentah. Na luar kena lengba ka Shillong Technology Park kisamla kibana sayo akam kin om duna ya ke Syihajar San Sepakngut. Haba keren nek jengelang ngekene kesengi u Menteri Rangba, u Konrad Kongkal Sangma, u loong bagi babon kisam la ki baterai syabar kejela haka liang ka IT, mentah kin sakwa bonwan pai no syala yeng. Namar beladan kalat, klinti iki banterai hala kejong kejela. Bat kumpa kalong mentah, ka jela mek halia kedon kejeng kermen na kebenta kalawai ban kiyo haka benta jong ke information technology. U Konrad Kongkal Sangma, u lo buru ika tong bahak shpou senam banwan kejela mek halia kan sakyo ka kerdan jong ke shpou teli kejela jong ke ri ki bapau haka ri barok kawai. Tiap sin di kerbau hotel, for the ticket is under being completed up till now. The Shillong Municipal Complex still pending, edit sora still pending, and so on. People have the right to talk when they see all these incomplete projects. But when we took, we are the government. They want things I take over us, the minister in charge of IT. We called the meeting with the officers of the department, the principal, principal secretary at the time, but DP Walang, but MR Sendrem, an official of the IT department. We are discussing and we are making a commitment that this project, we should be completed on time. If we cannot complete the project on time, people, they will lose the hope and the trust in the government. But I think all the officers, they have wholeheartedly working very hard to see that this project is complete. So we have all our individuals, our youth going to Bangalore, to Bombay, and to other uh, large metros where the cost of living is much higher, where the, uh, you know, the real estate uh, cost is much higher. And uh, obviously it leads to the employment aspect also creating and becoming higher. So therefore this coming into the picture is going to help most of the companies cut their cost by a huge amount. So that's the number one factor that we have to remember. The second factor why this is important is because this location here will allow the companies to have a plug and play model. Now we have to realize that companies don't have time to spend a year or two years to build up their building and create the infrastructure and uh, then start the project. They need ready-made infrastructure. They need to be able to start tomorrow because they get their contract for six months for one year and therefore a place where they can come in and plug and play is ideal for them. And therefore this setup and the infrastructure here is ideal for companies who desire to have a plug and play model because they can come and set up their shop tomorrow and they can finish a contract for two months and they just plug out and they can leave. And this is the kind of model that's developing throughout the world today uh, simply because uh, there are contracts that are there that last for a few months or years and uh, the IT companies don't have the time or the resources to invest. So that's the second point which is very, very important out here. Third is that uh, the weather conditions are very, very suitable for IT in terms of the servers that we have. We know that they heat up a lot. So we have uh, weather conditions that are favorable for us. Uh, another very important aspect is that uh, we have started the Shillong Airport. 
And the Shillong Airport is another aspect because um, connectivity is an important issue when it comes to IT companies. No CEO of big company would want to travel for two hours, three hours by road. You know, they want direct connectivity to the location. And therefore, the airport is very close from here. And once we have the roads which are under construction, we will actually be able to bypass the entire Shillong city traffic and reach the airport from here in a matter of just uh, you know minutes. Uh, and the third, uh, fourth uh, aspect which we have is we also are going to have the helipad out here. So the heliport is going to be in this land itself, and we are giving about five to ten acres to transport department to put up a heliport or helipad out here. So obviously that again is another area because we really need to think. 20 years down the line. We need the kind of infrastructure that will allow easy access to this location, will be an incentive for people to come and, uh, in, and you know, invest and start their projects out here. And the last and the most important aspect for the ecosystem for the BPO industry to grow is accommodation. And uh, as was being mentioned by the Honorable Minister, that uh, there are big projects like the Crowborough project which has been not completed for three decades. I'm happy to tell you that we will be completing it this year. So we are actually in the process, Taj Group has taken over that project and we expect that by April to May, we are uh, expecting it to be functional or at least completed. We are also expecting the Marriott Hotel uh, to be completed. So once we have these five star uh, units out here and hotels and accommodation, this is another area which is important for the BPO sector to uh, flourish. So it's not just having an IT park, it's having the connectivity to it, it's having the manpower out here, it's having the airport connectivity, it's having the five-star accommodations. All these aspects are very, very critical to uh, make sure that the ecosystem for the IT sector and the BPO sector is there. So this is really why this IT park is a very, very important uh, starting point, I should say, which will really completely change the IT scenario in the state and obviously what it will do is is going to create a huge employment for our youth. Now we have to remember that Meghalaya is going to add 50,000 youths every year to the workforce. 50,000. And this trend because of the population growth is going to continue for the next 15 years, 20 years. So therefore as a government we need to plan for this in the next five, ten years, what's going to happen? We can't wait for the next five, ten years to see that there's a large-scale unemployment. So therefore, when we have this, there's going to be 1,500 direct employment. That's direct employment here itself, and which we have already heard, the companies are already coming in. But we have to also realize that we are creating huge indirect employment. When we have you know, people working here, there will be food that will be required, transportation that will be required, there will be recruitment that will be required. So you need companies, people have to stay in hostels, people have to need accommodation. So there is going to be direct, indirect employment of maybe close to 4,000, 5,000 people just by this one IT park. So therefore, it's a huge source of uh, employment. And as mentioned, our people have a natural instinct to it because of the language proficiency we have and also in terms of the, the attitude and the aptitude that our people have towards this. So therefore, um, I strongly feel that um, this is going to be a great area for creation of direct and employment and indirect employment also. But my desire, again, this is with due respect to all the companies who are coming in here, my desire would be to see our own entrepreneurs starting their, uh, building, uh, their, their offices here. That is really going to be the ultimate game changer.